Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us for this special report. We're tracking the very latest on Hurricane Olivia, and right now, this track is very concerning. We're looking at a possible direct hit on the islands. Justin Cruz tells us what we need to know. Justin? Well, Kathy, Olivia currently is a hurricane, but when it nears the islands, it's expected to weaken into a tropical storm. There's also Tropical Storm Paul, which we're not worried about at this moment. All eyes on Hurricane Olivia, which is about 660 miles east, east northeast of Hilo right now, moving at a pretty good clip, 14 miles per hour, with winds around the center of the system at 75 miles per hour, gusting to 90 miles per hour. Forward in time, Tuesday morning, those winds will be below Category 1 status as a tropical storm, but a very strong tropical storm with winds anywhere between 60 and 70 miles per hour as it crosses into one of the Hawaiian islands. The forecast models do have it tugging and pulling more towards the big island, perhaps Maui right now, but it's a wait and see situation. As the days progress, we'll have a better uh, indication of where that track will eventually be. In terms of steering for for Hurricane Olivia, there's high pressure to the north, and that's going to prevent it from hooking to the north like Hurricane Lane did last week. So we anticipate and expect that westward track to continue because high pressure to the north is just so strong and it's actually forecast to strengthen. So what we have is a hurricane that, at least for now, is very healthy. We've seen the eye pop in and out. It has 75 mile per hour winds. There is warmer waters ahead that would lead to possible strength. Strengthening, but also low wind shear. And so we'll see how that wind shear starts to interact with Olivia as a hurricane, hopefully weakening sooner rather than later. So potential impacts, the timeline for you to prepare. Largest surf arriving early Tuesday and Wednesday. The heaviest rain looks to be around the late Tuesday and Wednesday time frame. Same with the strongest winds. Now that rain, again, still far offshore with Hurricane Olivia, but the future radar does show the core of that shower activity starting, at least the outer fringes starting to affect the islands by Tuesday evening in through Tuesday night and in through Wednesday morning. In terms of the rain, that's really when we could see much of it. Stay up to date by downloading the KHON2 mobile app and allowing for push alerts so you'll be in the know. And coming up, we'll have a question and answer segment with my pal, Dr. Allison Nugent from the University of Hawaii. That's later. Kathy, back to you.